Astronaut Rex Walheim, uh, Associate Director for ISS. Rex, uh, you're on Yuri Gagarin's launch pad. Uh, first of all, your thoughts about uh, the rollout. It's almost incredible uh, weather to accompany this and uh, what amounts to about 40 mile an hour winds. Yeah, you gotta expect this. And uh, I've, I've heard no matter what you uh, what happens, what you think's gonna happen, you gotta dress warmly. And uh, that's the case. And uh, it's just a testament to our Russian colleagues. They can do this day in, day out. The weather doesn't stop them. It's really, it really is impressive. Rex, uh, Jeff Williams about to make his third expedition to the International Space Station, his fourth flight overall. He's going to be a record breaker later in the summer, taking over uh, the all-time cumulative days in space from Scott Kelly. How is his level of preparation and what is he going to bring to this increment? Oh, you bet. Uh, Jeff is a, is a workhorse. He could have been ready to go long before, but we make sure he's uh, got his refresher training and everything he needs. But obviously, having spent uh, so much time up there already, he's going to be able to just step on board and, and get right to work. And uh, yeah, he's one of my fellow classmates from Group 16, the 96th class of astronauts, and we're really proud of him uh, getting on his third uh, long-duration flight. ISS Deputy Program Manager Dan Hartman. Dan, third launch in six days coming up for the Russian side, and they rolled out in about 40-mile-an-hour winds here. It's hard to even stand up. Yeah. What are your thoughts about... Uh, a Soyuz behind you and uh, the conditions uh, that accompanied this today. Certainly the worst uh, weather I've ever experienced here. It's pretty amazing they've got, uh, the, the, when we finally launch uh, in a few days, it'll be the third launch from the Cosmodrome in a week. It just really shows uh, the team effort that they pulled together to make that happen here. The complexity of uh, these couple of increments that are coming up for Jeff Williams and his crewmates joining the crew already on orbit. How difficult, how involved will the next few months be for the station? Sure, significant amount of vehicle traffic coming with the progress undocking and then birth, or docking later on. And then we follow that up with the orbital mission and then finally SpaceX, you know, the first uh, week or so of April. Hundreds of experiments coming up on board. A lot of our logistics supply is finally being replenished where we can now get to that six month total that we've always been striving for after we've suffered a couple accidents. So. 
total between those two flights is about 7,000 metric tons, which is great. And piled in, inside of all that cargo is payloads on the order of 200 payloads that they'll be conducting during the, during the increments that they'll be up there. So very, 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 very busy time. And the experience that Jeff Williams brings to this, this pair of increments in enabling all of this work to be done? Yes, I was thinking about that earlier. You know, when he was up there, his first go around, we were reconfiguring the space station, moving the ECLIS racks from the US lab into Node 3. And so he had that reconfiguration job to do on the inside. We still have some work to do with the reconfiguration on the outside, such as installing the IDA when it comes up uh, later in his increment. And so he's got, uh, he's gonna show his experience and uh, he'll be a great, uh, great addition to the space station up there. We look forward to it. This rollout occurs on the 50th anniversary of the first docking of spacecraft in orbit. Gemini 8, Neil Armstrong, Dave Scott, they brought their vehicle to a six hour docking to an Agena target vehicle. Soyuz behind you, six hours to get to the International Space Station. How far have we come in five decades? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. In, in 50 years or one lifetime, how far we've really advanced. You know, to think doing the first U.S. rendezvous like you described 50 years ago today, and, and that was really pioneering and breakthrough. And then, then here we are with this, you know, four orbit or six, six hours basically from the launch to docking on station. You know, we've, we've gotten things better. They're more straightforward. I can tell you it's still not easy. The environment it requires precision. It requires concentration. When you get overconfident and you start thinking things are easy, that's when things get, get problematic for you. So even though you know, we've come a long way, it's still a harsh environment. It still requires the absolute best in our teams to accomplish what we're about ready to see happen in the next day or so.